Well, I'm here with Laura out of Portland Nursery, and our gardens are in full bloom. Mm -hmm. And Laura, we got some great perennials to add a lot of that color for you know the late spring and summer. So what do Definitely. we have today? Um, well, I picked out a selection of different things to add some jazz and to clarify some things. Um, first, we have geranium biocovo. Um, People use Roseanne a lot because it's, you know, a nice blue color, but this one I've grown in my garden for a long time in quite a bit of shade. Um, and it can also do full sun. It's semi-evergreen, and I love that the leaves are fragrant, too. Um, so it's a great, geraniums are kind of a good, you, they're reliable. So you get a long, long bloom period. Long bloom right. period, and they're just, you know, an easy plant to grow. Right. So they're something I really love in my garden. Um, so this is a true geranium, a perennial geranium. Um, I also brought up the paralagoniums here. Um, they're scented geraniums. Um, so they're annuals or tenders. They also make great house plants. Um, I also like to call them scratch and sniff plants. Um, I brought up chocolate mint scented geranium and another minty one. We've got rose geraniums, um, per paralagoniums. Um, and something else neat about these is the flowers are edible. Um, and then you can make all kinds of things from the leaves, like simple syrups. You can flavor cakes with them. Oh, wow. And um, I'm not great at house plants, but I can overwinter scented geraniums indoors. And that's with the, the flower, or is that with the, or the, the, the foliage? The foliage. Okay. Um, but yeah, the flowers are just primarily this time of year, and you get a little bit more later on, but there's some of them that are like hot pink. And oh, fun. Really and, you know, fun. The, and the coloring within the, the leaves itself, yeah. the variegation or the dark dark veining is pretty cool. Definitely. So then what other plants are we looking at on here? So also we've got some salvias. I am a sucker for salvias. Oh my gosh, every single one. I want to take them home. And there's like thousands of there's them. Su it's <laughs> such a huge genus. People are like, where are the salvias? It's like, what kind? Right. <laughs> but this one's an annual one called Rockin', um, Rockin' Fuchsia. Um, they bloom till frost. So they're just powerhouses. And um, they attract hummingbirds like oh, crazy. Oh, yeah, with that big, deep, deep oh, throat. Oh, yeah, on there, definitely. So this is a great perennial one. Um, and then this is an, or this is annual. This is perennial. Um, this is the dwarf hot lips, um, little kiss. So it doesn't get get some. 18 inches tall. Because right, some of the times the other ones can get pretty really large. Really big, large yeah. Shredders, so it's nice and they start off back. red, and then they'll take on that white tone with right. warmer weather. And then I also pulled in front the new skyscraper orange that we have planted out in the this parking strip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a, yeah, another pretty color. You don't usually see a lot of that orange color. You, you see a lot of the pinks and purples exactly. and reds. Exactly. It's kind of cool to have, yeah. have that orange. And then, would you need to, like, when these blooms are done, you know, as they're spent, do you need to deadhead these at all? Or do you just You leave can them deadhead them, but you can, they, they'll rebloom on their own too. But they'll look much cleaner if you re deadhead the annual ones. And let's let them re reflush it. Yeah. And then you have a couple other goodies on here. A couple like some, other goodies. Looks like some fuchsias over there. Yeah. This is a delicious fuchsia, um, De Bronze Black Cherry, Smoky Blues, um, from our own Monier's um, breeders, who are no longer around breeding fuchsias. But it's just, fuchsias are just powerhouses in the shade garden, starting now till frost. Right, they'll, they'll just keep, keep blooming their heads They'll on. just keep blooming. Um, another hummingbird attractor and, little known fact, fuchsia flowers are edible. Oh really? Yeah, you have to strip off the green bits and you might want to wait a couple years before you start eating your fuchsia flowers. Um, but the flowers are edible and so are the fruits. Interesting. So yeah, Alice at Log House has um, brought uh, one specifically for large fruits and being blue purple they've got um, antioxidants in them and they make your tongue tingle. Oh, really? Kind of like. So would you put them like a salad, or just eat them straight, or? I would experiment first and see okay. what your palate kind tells you to what, do. What the, what the taste is. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm, how do I want to use this? Because there is a little pit in the middle. And then they're, they're self-cleaning a lot of times too. Like the fuchsias yes. will just drop them. Yeah, so definitely so self-cleaning. Um, so yeah, another reliable you can't go wrong with fuchsias good dependable and there's so many different varieties that you carry too as far oh as my know, goodness. the uprights and the short and the compact yeah and, and then the minis yeah they're so cute yeah so there's a little, wide range of what you can do with, yeah. do with the fuchsias can't go wrong with and the then fuchsias. this guy here i mean the, the bloom on this oh thing, what yeah is the, what is that one? a butylon or flowering maple um i feel like they're underutilized because they can overwinter here in a mild winter like we just had right. Right. Um, or like a heavy mulch or something like that. And they can get, this can become quite tall, the red tiger. Yeah, he'll get, be more like large, yeah. large shrub, big, big 
and mm -hmm. tree. And just a statement, you know, people walking by the garden like, what is yeah, that? I mean, just to see that kind of kind of color. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and it comes in such a range of yellows. Um, we've got smoked salmon right now, and a deep lipstick red, yeah. and and they're very you know once they get going, they're pretty pro profuse bloomers. Very right? profuse all summer, mm, summer all long. summer long. Yeah, and also probably a good statement or focal point in the pot or a container. Exactly. A, mm -hmm. a um, full sun. They can take light shade. Um, so pretty versatile as well. And then this one's been staked to be more tree-like. Tree-like. I've seen them prune tr into like a standard form. Okay. And so, you know, you have, you know, amazing selection of all of these, you know, really great blooming perennials going mm -hmm. into the, to bring color throughout your yard into right. the, you know, the spring and the summer. Mm -hmm. And you all, you guys are open. So what are some of your protocols? We are right open. Um, some of our protocols, number one is a mask. For both, <laughs> this is the first time I've taken my mask off at work. <laughs> For both employees and for customers. Um, also, we have, a, you need to speak with our greeters before you come in so you can kind of get, figure out what's going okay. on. Um, we're credit or debit only. Um, the inside of the store is closed for okay. safety purposes. We just don't want crowding. Right. And it's also a safe place for our staff to take breaks right now yeah. too. Um, the good news is our houseplant selection has moved outside to the nice. greenhouse and we're starting to get some things like tools outside as okay. well. So you'll have a selection of the things that were in exactly. still accessible. And then we have the warehouse bay doors open for you to ask for other things in the store. Right. Um, and we are working on getting our information desk open again. Okay. Well, so which, we've is, been, which is great. Yeah. So that's something we're making space for. And another really <laughs> important protocol is to remember to have fun. <laughs> you know, if we're all, all going through this, we need yeah. to have a little humor. Yeah. Enjoy the plants, enjoy the flowers, you know, and just make the best of make the situation. Make each other laugh. Can. Absolutely. It's the best medicine. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Laura, it's always a pleasure to come out here and enjoy Thank it. You. We appreciate your time and sharing these beautiful plants with you. So make sure you go to your know, Portland Nursery's website or you can go to gartentime.tv and we'll click you over. Mm -hmm.